Hey, James, thanks so much. Hot Springs Village is home to more than 15,000 Arkansans, and many of them call the Andalusia neighborhood home. It was hit especially hard by last night's twister. Channel 7's Lisa Hudson has spent the day there and joins us now live with more on what those folks endured and how they're responding to it in the wake of the storm. Lisa. Well, Chris, it started when the sun came up. Homeowners got to work clearing debris all over this neighborhood. Most of this area still without power tonight. It's a very quiet wooded area, but many of those trees came crashing down in last night's storm. Some neighbors, they were helping each other out today. We spoke with Pat Patterson and his son Gabriel just across the street from here at Sacred Heart of Jesus Christ Catholic Church as he and his son Gabriel helped with that cleanup effort. We own some properties on the northwestern side of the village. We were going there to check those out. When we saw there was trouble here, we stopped to help. Sawing and dragging limbs, just amazement. Um, we see a lot, of, uh, a lot of charity, a lot of people pitching in and, and coming together when times, you know, when they are needed. And like James said, the good news here tonight, no one injured in this storm, which is pretty miraculous once you come out here and see some of the damage they're dealing with. Now, coming up tonight at 6, you'll hear from Janet Davis. She suffered so much damage to her home. You'll hear how her neighbors are helping her out as they recover from this EF2 tornado. For now, live from Hot Springs Village, I'm Lisa Hudson. Back to you. Hey, Lisa, and we are so thankful to report no injuries and no deaths last night. Thanks very much. Well, part of Hot Springs Village is in Saline County. The county judge there, Matt Brumley, issued a disaster emergency proclamation for the area today. That's going to help open up aid relief and assistance for both businesses and homeowners.